Now we'll look at how we can parse this data with Alteryx. In this example, we're going to use the text input tool, which is a way to input data without having to bring in a file. We can simply type in data, which is commonly done when we need just a record or two to run a test, or we can paste records in from Excel or some other source, which I'm going to do here. Next, to parse the data, we're going to connect the text to columns tool. In the configuration window, we point to the field that we want to parse and then set the delimiter to a period. Because as you can see, the period is what is delimiting the components of the data. Alteryx will split to columns by default. And in the setting right here, number of columns, you can identify how many fields will be generated by the parsing. We need three fields, one for the word data, one for the first number, and one for the second number. We can set the output root name to a specific word like call for column, and when the data is parsed, it will go into columns with this root name with a consecutive number added to it. When we run Alteryx, we will see three fields generated with the expected data in each column, call one, call two, and call three. In the second example, we see we have an address field that contains the street address, state, and zip code, all in one field. However, if we want to count the records in each five-digit zip code, it would be far easier to work with this data if the address was in one field, the city in a second field, and the state in a third field, and the zip code in a fourth. This can easily be done by parsing the data using characters. Notice how the three components of the address are separated by commas, the street address, the city, and the state plus zip code. If we use the comma as a delimiter, we can divide the data into those three components. So let's do that now. We grab the text to columns tool, connect it up, identify the field to parse, which is address, and then the comma is the delimiter, and we will split that to three columns. Address 1 is the original address, address 2 is the city, and address 3 is the state and zip code. Next, we need to separate out the state from the zip code. This can be done using the space as a delimiter. As you can see, the space is the delimiter between these two components. However, we also want to separate the five-digit zip code from the last four digits and you can see that a dash is delimiting those. To parse those two components within the address three field, we grab another text to columns tool, point to the address three field, and set the delimiter to be both a space and a dash. There are three columns that we would like to split into, and they will all start with ADDR. As a result, we can see that the address 3 field has been split into its three component parts. And now we can clean up the data set to get rid of fields and rename them. Grab the Select tool, remove the fields that we no longer need, like Address and Address 3, and rename the existing fields. Address, City, State, Zip, Zip4. The result is the newly parsed data with the fixed up fields.